You know, hunting is a very popular activity. People do it all over the world. And in North America, whitetail hunting is one of the most popular species that people like to get out and go hunting for. And a lot of those people, they're getting out for enjoyment. They're getting out to fill the freezer. They're hunting with their family and friends. Some are hunting for the animal of a lifetime. And because of all of that, it's a mix of things that you see in the field. But one thing is certain, people love to hunt out of tree stands. And tree stand safety is something that has to always be at the forefront of everybody's thoughts when it comes time to climb up into a tree. All of the things that we're going to talk about will help prepare you to be safe, prepare for a better hunt, make it more successful, and ensure when you climb down at the end of the day or after you've taken a shot, you're going to make it home safely. To me, the beginning of your tree stand safety aspect starts with trying to find the perfect tree. When you find that perfect tree that really sets up well, it's a live, healthy tree. It's got good cover. You know, it's big enough to handle the weight for everything that you're gonna be putting on it. But risking it, setting up in a risky tree that might have a little rot, uh, probably not big enough, isn't quite straight enough to where all of your items can, can be designed to work in a proper way. When you look at this set of, uh, of climbing sticks, you can tell by the, the size of everything right here, how they go around. If you had big knots or if it was too big or a little bit crooked, these feet are not gonna be cinched in to give you good, secure, stable platform while you're climbing up. Those are all things to notice while you're setting everything up. And when you can't find that perfect tree and you can't make that tree work, know that it's best to just walk away from that tree and find another one. When you find that perfect tree and you begin to put up, whether you're hanging a, a hang-on stand or a ladder stand or whatever it may be, the first things that you're gonna wanna be thinking about are where's my safety line gonna go? Getting that safety line into position in the tree is something that's really gonna be important because anytime that you leave the ground, that safety line needs to be attached to you and your safety harness. And we're gonna talk about that just a little bit more. When it comes to the harness, basically what you're looking at is something that is going to, you know, go over your shoulders, go over your legs. It's going to securely lock you in four to five points of contact on your body. And it's going to have an area in the back that you can hook a clip to, hook a carabiner into and securely keep you in place. Make sure it's got good buckles on it. Make sure it's got good straps all the way around. I mean, it's one of the most important investments that you absolutely can have when it comes time to go hunting. Keep in mind that mistakes are going to happen when you climb in and out of that stand probably more than any other time. A lot of times people are trying to carry too much gear up at the wrong time. That's where a haul line is so important. You have a haul line off to the side of your stand that you tie that knot to once, you know, while you're down on the ground. You climb up and you pull everything up into the stand and then you secure it up in there. That's using poor judgment if you start climbing up with all that stuff, you know, in one hand over here and, you know, hanging out and, or you're off balance. So use good judgment, use a haul line, haul things up into your stand and it will help make it more secure and safer for you. The next thing to keep in mind is making sure that all of the assets in your stand have not been overly exposed to the elements. This goes back to using bad judgment and climbing up in a stand that's not safely and secure. Go up to each buckle, pull it, give it a tug, give it a crank, add another strap or two to everything. Look at them for fraying, look at them for nicks and cuts, look at them for where a darn squirrel's been up there chewing them because they certainly will do that. Give everything a good check. And remember, like we've always saying, we're always preaching, make sure you got that safety harness and the lifeline on when you're doing it. You know, another thing I think that's really important is providing hunt details to everybody. You know, it, I'm fortunate that the majority of my hunts are around a lot of my good buddies. We always have a text chain going on. You know, my wife always knows what stand we're going to. Now, she may not be able to find it, but she knows the name of the stand so she can text somebody if I'm late coming back. My buddies know what's going on. That's really important. If you don't have anybody in the area that you can do that, write a note, leave it on your truck. Because if your truck's sitting in a low location and you've unfortunately had an accident and you can't notify anybody, having a note on your truck will help people find you in those situations because it's going to be important if you've had a bad fall that somebody knows where you are and they can get to you. You know, when you get to your stand and you begin to clip yourself in, you know, you're going to have climbed down from it in the past and you'll, you'll grab your lifeline. You've got this carabiner right here on this particular one and you'll 
put this around. It'll lock everything down. While you're doing all of this, in your mind, you are thinking about one thing and one thing only, the big buck or the doe that's gonna come walking by. This is the time to forget that thought and think about tree stand safety 100%. This is the time to make sure you've got your uh, haul line set up with everything. You got your bow tied in, you got your backpack tied in. Anything you're taking up into that stand right now doesn't need to be with you. It needs to be tied in over here. Then as you begin to get onto the stand itself, this is where three points of contact become the norm. You've got one foot right here on the stand, you got your two hands. As you go up and, and start climbing that stand, you get into this position right here. Now I've still got three points, two feet and one hand. I go up with my lifeline, I go back down and I get my hands right here, I go up, and I've still got three. I've got all my weight on this right leg right here, and I go up again. These are the things that you're trying to do the whole way up. Lifeline, go up, hands still here, two feet, I'm still in good shape. Bring it up another step right there. Take one more step. Now I've got four at this point right here. I'm gonna take this hand off. I'm gonna take my lifeline up a little higher. That's how you work your way up. So you always have plenty of contact points as you go up. You, I would go up in this situation to this step. I would have this up and I would step down into my stand in that manner right there. Then once I get everything nice and secure, I feel safe. I start to haul everything up. And one thing I'm never going to get rid of, that lifeline is hooked to this until I come all the way back down. Now, as we reverse this process, we've started to work our way out. I'm going to bring my lifeline down. Drop a step down. Drop another step down. Bring a hand down. Lower my lifeline. Go down. Go down. At this point, we can unhook our lifeline. We've made it to the ground. Everything is safe and secure. We've had a great hunt. Hopefully we're walking off to go tag a buck, tag a doe, and if not, maybe we're going to go celebrate one of our friends. But the one thing for sure, we're safe and we're in good shape and we made, had a great and successful hunt.